In today's video, I'm going to be installing a Micro Air Soft Start on my 5-ton American Standard Air Conditioning Unit. I'm hoping this will reduce some light flickering we see in the house from time to time when the unit turns on, as well as making it easier to run on a generator. I found that this large unit pulled between 117 and 130 amps inrush, depending on what time of day I tested it and what meter I used. There are plenty of good videos on YouTube showing this process. Specifically, I found Hutch Mountain's video very handy before attempting to install. I'm putting this one out there just to show a different angle of the process and how you can tuck the soft start into the cover of these larger units. When it comes to knowing which soft start to buy, you can look at your AC's model number. On American Standard units, these middle numbers will indicate the unit's BTUs. Divide this by 12 and you'll get your tonnage. While this Micro Air Easy Start Flex is waterproof, I was happy to be able to find room to mount it inside the covered area of my unit. It's a slightly tight fit, but I have not had issues getting to other components with it in there. The Flex Kit comes with these self-tapping mounting screws as well as extra zip ties and Waco connectors. Now that we have it mounted and the safety disconnect disconnected, I want to discharge any charge left in the capacitor. To do this, I use an insulated handle driver and run the shaft between all three terminals on the capacitor. On your diagram, locate the compressor. Mine is here on the top left. Note that it has a C, S, and R terminal. The C is for common, for me this is a black wire, the S is for start, an orange wire, and R is for run, a red wire. These will be different depending on your unit's manufacturer. We're going to be starting with our S wire, which in my case is orange. This is connected to the HERM terminal of the capacitor. We'll be connecting the orange wire from the easy start to this terminal. Next, we'll find our R terminal, which in my case is red. This is the line that we clamped with our meter to get our inrush amperage. On this wire, we're going to cut it in the middle and connect the brown and white wires from the flex start. The lead going back to the compressor will be attached to the brown easy start wire, and the lead going back to the terminal block will have the white. Lastly, we'll find our C wire, which is black in my case. This wire goes to the contactor. There will likely be additional terminal locations on the contactor, which we'll use to clip in our black wire from the easy start. After that, all that's left to do is some cable management. I then turned the power back onto the unit and jumped onto my phone to open the Micro Air application. The easy start connects via Bluetooth to my phone easily, and I'm able to get a decent amount of data about the unit's performance. Within two startups, the soft start brought my inrush down to around 55 amps. These devices are designed to learn your specific unit, so I let the AC cycle on and off for a few more hours over the day before checking in again. After five training starts, it achieved around 28 amps, which I think is phenomenal performance considering I've seen inrush as high as 130 amps on this unit in the past. So that's it. This is a super easy install. I hope someone out there got some value from this video. If you did, hit that like button down below. Consider subscribing to the channel. And this is Redbeard Engineered, signing off.